Maurice Sendor, and John Smith have become the Bobcats' block boys. Down on the blocks, the low post, they score and defend, reject shots, and rock the rim. They have some similar skills and round each other out. They can extend to the mid-range and beyond the arc. Highlights galore. Yep, down on the blocks and beyond, there's a bond. He's always ready, he's always willing. We're just trying to balance it out, you know. He, he know what I can do and I know what he can do. He had a real love and appreciation for the game that that I just really, you know, really uh, latched on to. We just like act like we're brothers. Per game, they combine for around 21 points, 14 rebounds, and four blocks. Down on the blocks, it's important to have each other's back, and they do. Sometimes he creates a lot of space for me so I can just do what I have to do, and on the defensive end too, you know, like John is the type of guy that can clean up a lot of mess. Since I was a young guy, defense has just been something natural for me, and offense is prior more natural for him, but he has such great length. He has really good defense as well. And, um, you know, I'm trying, you know what I mean? I could do a little bit, things here and there with the offense. So it's not really as we see each other on some yin and yang, but we definitely understand that we got each other's back and that's more, that's the most important thing. Because they're similar and at the same time different, they push each other to get better in both facets of the game, the physical and the mental. That's the thing that I really liked about Mo when he first came here was uh, we just was really pushing each other, you know. We used to play one-on-one -on -one a little bit out in the park, just little things like that. It's just motivates you to play probably good defense because knowing that if you mess up, somebody's going to be, you know, behind cleaned up for you. So you're not, you're not really scared to step up and play defense or, or put pressure on the guy, you know. And John is just that type of guy. Endor is well-traveled from Senegal to Japan to New York to Athens. Smith can understand the importance of feeling comfortable and blending in. He went from Columbus to St. Louis to the Hocking Hills. It's a brotherhood, this thing called Bobcat basketball. And while they've traveled different roads, they're a part of the Hoops family. That homesickness that some guys might feel, you trying to, you know, take that away by showing them, hey, you can call your brother. You ain't got to worry about it. So. It was just important, especially for a guy who's all the way from Africa and then went to high school out in Japan and then went to junior college in New York. You know what I'm saying? So the closest people he know in the States is all the way in New York. It was just important for me to show him that he had brothers on the team that he could trust on and count on and call on. Me fitting in the, into the program, you know, and having a good relationship with the guys and my teammates. And, um, you know, um, I think so far I like it here just because of that. You know, my teammates, you know, they, they trust me a lot and they have confidence in me. Down on the blocks, highlights of all kinds happen. And this dynamic and multi-dimensional duo is doing its part to paint things green and white. We really are having fun. Guys love spending time with each other. You know, the girls are practicing right now, but if we could, you would see everybody in the gym right now. You know, it, it, it's that type of family atmosphere that we're trying to, to cultivate around here, and I think it's really catching on.